Let's learn how to identify Ontario's turtles. There are eight species of turtle in Ontario, and each turtle has key features that helps us to identify them. Being able to recognize different turtles is important in helping to conserve them. First, let's learn the different parts of the turtle that we will use for identification. The top shell is called the carapace, and the bottom shell is called the plastron. The carapace and plastron are connected by the bridge. The individual plates that make up the shell are called scoots. Snapping turtles are one of the largest turtles in the province. They look prehistoric with their sharp claws and long tails covered in spikes. Even on the toonie-sized hatchlings, the long tail is obvious. Snapping turtles have a pointed beak and may be covered in algae. There are two types of painted turtles in Ontario. Both will have a dark olive carapace. The bottom of the carapace has a red design on it. Midland painted turtles are one of the most widespread turtles you will come across in the province. They have red and yellow stripes on their face, neck, legs, and tail, and have a yellow plastron. Western painted turtles are only found north and west of Lake Superior in Ontario. They do not have red stripes on their face. The plastron of the western painted turtle is bright orange or red with a large dark blotch in the center. Northern map turtles get their name because their shell is covered in lines that resemble contour lines on a map. The head, neck, and limbs are covered in yellow stripes. There is a ridge along the middle of the carapace, and the back of the carapace has a serrated edge. This species grows larger than the painted turtle. Blanding's turtles are most easily identified by their bright yellow chin. They have a dark domed shell and can look like a World War I army helmet from far away. The carapace and head may be covered in flecks of yellow. The plastron is yellow with black blotches. Spotted turtles are one of Ontario's smallest turtles. They have a dark carapace and are covered in yellow and orange spots. They have a black head and limbs with orange markings. The plastron is orange with large black splotches. Wood turtles are Ontario's most terrestrial turtle, spending more time on land than other species. They have a dark sculpted shell with pyramid-like shapes. Their head is dark with an orange neck and legs. Their plastron is orange with black blotches. The Eastern Musk Turtle, or Stink Pot, is one of the smallest turtles in Ontario. They only grow to be about the size of a grapefruit. There are two yellowish lines on the face. These turtles have a dark colored domed carapace and a small plastron. They are often covered in algae. The Spiny Softshell Turtle is the only turtle in Ontario without a hard shell. Instead, their shell looks like a leathery pancake. The carapace is olive with black markings. They also have a long, snorkel-like snout. These are one of the largest turtles in Ontario. They are not found in the land between. Red-eared sliders are not native to Ontario. They are invasive, meaning their presence, when released into the wild by people, negatively affects the ecosystem. Red-eared sliders get their name from the red spots on the side of their head. There are no red stripes on the neck or legs like the Midland Painted Turtle. Now that you can identify Ontario's turtles, you can report to us when you see them. Learn how to report your sightings at turtleguardians.com.